Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day today. So I want to talk about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and knowing His voice, listening to His voice. Um, it's because it's the main way that, that God speaks to us. It's how He communicates to us. So I was, I had a video pop up in my YouTube feed. It was, uh, it was like three, three ways to know the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. And I was say like, that's, that's a nice thought and everything. And, uh, I actually listened to a little bit of the, a little bit of it and, you know, it was what I heard was was pretty good and uh, the guy wasn't crazy or anything he was saying a lot of things that were true um, but here's the deal Th there's no pointers that m me or anybody else can give you on hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit and identifying it and um, because it comes through your relationship with God. The way that you know the voice of the Holy Spirit is by hanging out with Him, by hanging out with God, by seeking the face of God, worshiping God. It's just like, if I don't know you, I'm not going to know your voice. Like, you call me, I'm going to be like, who's this? You know, I don't, I don't know this voice. Um, and it's the same way with the Holy Spirit. You have to practice a lifestyle of listening to His voice. You know, but I will tell you right now that in my, just by listening to other people talk, it doesn't happen the way that most people seem to think that it happens or you know, it's, you don't, you know, wake up and you hear this voice talking in your bedroom or something, you know, it, it, I'm sure that might've happened to somebody, but that's not how it works. Like God, by his Holy Spirit will speak to us. I'll tell you right now, for me, it, and trust me, it's, there's different ways, but for me, the main way is it's, it's like having a thought. You're having a thought. I'll be honest with you. You see you see the cartoons with you know the little devil angel dude on one shoulder and the and the good angel on the other shoulder. Honestly, and they're like whispering in the person's ear. Honestly, it's uh, and there's a lot of ways that's pretty accurate. Um, you you get a thought, and it's the Holy Spirit. Um, and you learn through obedience and giving glory and credit to the Holy Spirit. It, it increases the accuracy and the clarity by which you hear his voice like every uh every time that i'm aware of the holy spirit giving me a thought i stop and and i thank him and and i give him credit and glory for that and I've over the years I've watched that increase the sensitivity, increase the clarity by which I hear his voice, you know. And it's I mean, I guarantee you there's lots of times I hear his voice and don't even realize that I'm hearing his voice and I'm you know, doing it. And at the time I, I thought it was just a thought, you know. Um so the times that I am aware, uh, I, like I said, I stop and give him credit and glory. Like, I mean, there's lots of times 
that I can think of. And it becomes more and more a common occurrence the more you basically obey. The more you obey his voice, the more the clearer it begin the clearer it becomes and the more often it happens, okay? Um I think of one time a couple years ago, I was I was doing something. I was getting ready to back my truck up. Uh, you know, and it's a long extended cab truck with a full eight foot bed. And I just, the kids had been outside. It probably been 10 minutes since I'd seen them. Uh, so at the time I got like a two or three year old daughter and you know, I was like, hey, kids, you know, uh, uh, of course the truck was running. I was trying to see if they were anywhere around or behind the truck. And I had this thought, go look behind the truck, which I had already called out their names, you know, no response. And there is uh, my youngest daughter, like standing, like right behind the hitch of my truck. And it was right where a hill goes. And basically, basically if I would have, if I would have, it's kind of hard to explain, but if I would have backed up like that, I would have crushed her into the hill with the hitch of my truck. She's just standing there for no apparent reason. I mean, totally weird, like she shouldn't even be there, you know, but the Holy Spirit told me to go look. And if I wouldn't have, uh, bad things, you know, and I just, oh, it was so, I can't even really explain how obvious it was, and I just immediately stopped and started worshiping God, and I was even, you know, like crying, and it was it 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 affected my emotions. But that's just that's just an example. There's just so many of them, because like I said, the more, and I will say that the more important it is at the time. I mean, like that's that's the times that that you really know that you I mean he just always uh, will speak and you need to be listening and there's to and I'll tell you another thing when I realized that I missed his voice I stop and and I apologize and you know and I give glory to God and I I'm like, wow, you, you told me and I didn't listen, you know? Uh, so I think that's really important. It's, it's kind of like a relationship with a human when you interact with them, excuse me, you know, you gotta, you gotta speak back. You know, you're, you're in this relationship, you mess up, you apologize. You, if, so-and-so does you a favor you thank them you know well it's it's no different we're you know when the bible talks about us being made in the image of god th there's there's many ways that that is true but i feel like a, a lot of people don't realize like how much we really are like god um we just just the way he's created us in his image um it's actually a lot more literal than i believe most people realize um he i mean you can you could there's so many things god is so deep and it's it's so people are so afraid to really realize what god is like you know there's so many things like in the Bible where, you know, men of God, like, you know, talking God into saving a city, you know, or not destroying a city, you know, and, or, you know, uh, like Jacob wrestling with the angel, you know, uh, that's, I mean, how many people, you know, that done that? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're, uh, we're kind of struggling in our efforts to know God. Um, but about the Holy Spirit, um, 
just ask God to hear his voice, listen when he speaks, and don't be afraid. I mean, basically, just like the Bible says, every good gift comes from above. So, I mean, the devil doesn't give you good thoughts, okay? Um, he just doesn't. So, you know, don't be afraid to to do something that you that you're having thoughts that you're feeling like you're supposed to do when when it's a good thing, you know, do it. And and the more the more you listen, the more you obey, the more accurate you will hear his voice, the more clear it will become. And it's so awesome to I guess you know, con confidently walk through the leadership of the Holy Spirit. When when you know, when you're aware of evidence in your life that you're hearing His voice and you're obeying, it's an awesome feeling. Other than, you know, most people are are totally in doubt, don't even, you know, they're unfortunately usually kind of walking amiss. But it's so awesome to, um, I say, like, he proves that I'm hearing his voice. Like, I'll, and that's another thing. So I've only talked about, like, the short term. Well, well, there's other, there's other things that are long term. Like, God will be giving me revelation, uh, which comes, like, as a thought. And, you know, when you get better at recognizing that it's a God thought, okay? You get way better at it. Um, honestly, there, there are things as far as um, there have been, I'm going to say doctrinal things, you know, um, that God has taught me that it took years for him to prove to me that I was hearing his voice and, you know, and it wasn't just some thought I was having, okay? So, you know, sometimes it's right there instant in the moment, but sometimes it's a process when it's kind of a more deeper thing. It kind of really has to do how much it goes against what you've been taught your whole life, okay? Because if it's like, some lie if because uh, the God wants you to know the truth okay that the Holy Spirit comes to reveal the truth you know the Bible talks about that um, you can lead you in the ways of truth well you know we all the longer we have believed something that's not true usually the longer it takes to come out of that lie and open up to the truth, you know, and especially the more people around us that believe that lie, the harder it is to come up out of it. But the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, and he, he's going to speak the truth over your life. It's just a lot of times we're too religious, we're, we believed a lie too long, and it's super hard to open up to that truth that seems weird or it seems like well nobody else I know believes this or but but that's that's exactly why we're so weak and because we care about numbers um, God doesn't care about that God cares about the truth and he wants you to rise up and walk in his truth and that's why he speaks you through his Holy Spirit so Sometimes it's short, sometimes it takes years, sometimes it takes months, days, weeks, um, to, to know that the thing in question was from the Holy Spirit. So, anyway, uh, seek God's face and you will know the voice of His Holy Spirit. Y'all have a good day. Bye.